Can you find fish in crystal clear water, bright sun, small waves and a strong offshore breeze? Hi, my name's Roger Osborne. In this video, I'm gonna go prospecting along this beach looking for fish in these conditions. I'm using some fresh beach worms and also a variety of soft plastics. I'm actually quite excited about going along there and looking for some fish. If you're finding my content helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because then you'll know when the next video is coming out. Let's go fishing. Okay, so my plan is, I'm just gonna work my way along the beach. First of all, I'll chuck a set line out with some worms on it. And then I'm gonna play around flicking a variety of different soft plastics. I'm set up pretty light for the plastics, almost like I would be for the estuary. So I've only got light jig heads. I have a variety, actually. And what I'm looking for in each spot is a nice shallow sandbar, a little bit of suds, a bit of white water that is washing over into a nice little deep trough. This first spot, I have those kind of features just here. Um, it's a little bit of a channel. At the moment, um, the tide would be about halfway in. So I'm just gonna chuck these, this line out with the worms on it. I've already rigged up my other rod with the soft plastic, so I don't, it's all ready to go. And then I'm gonna just fish the edges of this little drop off. I don't have to cast very far. It's probably only about 30 meters. Uh, I'll be casting with the soft plastic, but I'll be tossing these worm baits out a bit further on the edge of the wash. How cold is the water? Woo, a little bit chilly. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna wait for this little wave to go. See where I'm going. Okay, where am I gonna land? That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind that. I could have maybe gone two or three metres further, I would have been in the total sweet spot. But I think, I think that, oh, oh I haven't even hooked my reel over. Oh, sugar. Can you believe that? I'm just walking back, just getting ready to, um, you know, do the thing. So I think what's going to have to happen, so this has answered a question about where I, where I just cast my line. Oh, that would have been maybe 10 seconds before I got a bite. And you know it's my first cast, I've only just walked down here. So anyways, I think I'll wind this fish in and then I'll just go straight onto plastics. <laughs> Actually, my drag is, um... Wow, you can see how there isn't a cloud in the sky. It's bright sun. So we've got a lovely little, lovely little salmon here. I think I'll let this guy go. Beautiful little fish though. Didn't take long for him to bite. You can see that worm bait sticking right out of his mouth. So I'll just rebait and I think I might actually, I might actually not toss this bait out because I, I had a bite very quickly. So I think I'm gonna try the plastics before I chuck out another bait. The first plastic that I'm gonna try is this little wriggler. It's kind of in a worm color. That's why I'm trying it. I'm only using 10 pound braid, and this is one of my estuary reels, uh, which I have 10 pound braid on, I use it for flathead. So I want, and the, the jig head is only a one sixth of an ounce. 
I generally use slightly lighter than that in the estuary, but I'm also going to, because I'm not casting far and I want to get in that wash, this little gutter here, it kind of finishes just to my right. It comes into a point. So I'm going to cast just right up in the corner. And I'm hoping that, you know, there could be a brim or, I mean, maybe a salmon will grab that, but, you know, something might like that little offering when I flick it in there. I do have a variety of other plastics and some larger ones and slightly heavier jig heads. So I will try that as well as, as I work my way along the beach. So my aim is here. I've just got this lovely little channel. It's pretty clear. But I know I can reach that bit of foamy water on the edge of that sandbar just there. So that's where I'm hoping there might be some fish. Be interesting to see how far I can cast this little little baby out. At least the wind is offshore, which is good. Yeah, I landed right on the edge of the sand there. No way. Would you believe that? Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Can you believe that? First cast. <laughs> You know, I had, a, I had a fish first cast with my bait, and I haven't chucked that out again. First cast with this on the edge of that little drop-off, I've got a brim. Do you know, when I was just pulling him in then, I saw about another six or eight fish following him in while I was winding him in. So let's see what happens if I cast out again. Now this guy's legal. He's a legal, legal length fish. So I think I'm gonna keep him. And man, that's very encouraging. And this is the first place that I've tried this morning. That was so quick. That was seriously so quick. That was amazing. Just gonna pull him in, let that tail wiggle in the water. Some of you may grab it on the way in. Just gonna flick this back out again, yep. A little bit to the left from where I last cast. Let's just see how we go now. Just it's great when you can get in the sweet spot out there. Look at that, that's perfect. Let's just see what happens in that spot. It actually got it on the drop the first time. First cast, the fish took it on the drop. I think I need to get back out in that sweet spot. So I'm actually making it out there with um, this light here. Yep, that's good. All right. I think next time I might try and land on the sand. Yeah, I'm actually going to um, cast on the sand over there and just pull it over the edge. I'm just going to move over to the right just a little bit. I would like to get onto the actual sand because I can see the water pushing off the edge of the sand into the edge of that gutter. Yep, landed right on the sand then. So. I'm sure my plastic will end up over the edge. I'm leaving a little bit of a drop 
I'm leaving a little bit of a drop on my line so that I can get a really good flick because of the lightness of the jig head. I'm actually just thinking while I'm doing this that I could go slightly heavier with the jig head just in these sort of conditions. Where are those brim? <laughs> They're playing ball on my first cast. Okay, I'm gonna have another cast out here, then I'm gonna chuck my bait one out again, and then I might switch over to a different plastic. I'm waiting for these waves to come past because I really want to get as, as close to the edge as I can just to get, steal that extra metre or two when I cast. I'm on. Whoa! Wow, look at this. Look at this guy. Woo! <laughs> So this little um, wriggler is working very well. I've actually got my drag set because, um, wow, I'm going to walk down this way. Woo! Man, that is just pulling line. The line's screaming out. It's cool. Wow, it's gone right down the beach. I just want to keep a little bit of pressure on him. Um, you might not be able to hear my reel, but it's screaming. This is certainly excellent fun. Had him close, but um, oh man, what a fight! Just gonna tighten my drag just a little. Whew, just pulled a lot of line out. I had him pretty close, but. He's not tired yet. Good morning. Okay. Where are we? Maybe this next wave will do it.
back this way again. This is only light line. So, just have to be careful. I think this is probably the moment now with this wave. Yeah, this is the moment. He's a big fat fella. Wow. What a fight on light line. And you can see that uh, soft plastic in his mouth. What time is it? Just checking the time again. Actually, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. So, wow, that's been a lot of fun so far on these soft plastics. And in this case, I'm just using a small plastic and a light jig head, kind of replicating a bit of a worm thing. It's gonna take it out. Look, he's hooked. Look where he's hooked right. Lovely, beautiful hook up. Gonna have to give him a cuddle. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's that, there's that plastic. So, whew, I need a rest after that. I'm tempted to keep this guy, but I think I might let him go. Whew. Well, this is my first location. Really the first place I've tried this morning. And I've got two fish on plastics and one on bait. I've only had one cast with the bait. Just in this lovely little um, trough. I think I might have one or two more casts. But I'd like to go down the beach and just see what other features there are down the beach and be interesting to see what I could catch. I think I might upgrade to a slightly larger plastic, slightly heavier jig head, see if there's anything bigger out there. Um, I still think I could potentially hook a brim on a slightly larger plastic, but yeah, a couple quick more casts and then we'll move on. The wind is coming from that direction. It's sort of, it's offshore but it's southwest. So it's kind of blowing across. And I should really try and use the wind to help me cast. And cast in the same direction that the wind is blowing. Just make a little bit of difference with distance getting on the edge of that wash. Okay, I'm gonna put a nice hard flick. Yep, that's pretty, not too bad. Okay, so that would have hit the bottom by now, so I'm just gonna give it a bit of a lift. I don't wanna let it sit still for too long. I think both of those fish have taken it on the initial drop. right when I'm in the edge of that white water. So I'm going to wind this one in and chuck it back out there again. Okay. I'm going to walk right to the edge when this little wave goes. I'm a little bit wet already. In this first spot, two fish on plastics, one on bait. So we're gonna move along the beach a little bit to choose another nice looking little spot and have a go. I've walked down the beach about 200 meters and I just think this is worth a try here. There's a sandbar out the back and there's just a small trough in front of it. So the waves are hitting the sandbar there and then washing into this little trough, which will actually increase in depth as the tide comes in. It's the sort of place where brim, etc., will hang out. It's certainly worth a try, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna chuck a bait out first, and then grow, go and grab my rod with the plastic on it. It's just a little bit of a further cast with the plastic, so a slightly heavier jig head would, um, would help, I think. Since I've been, I've been down here, the waves have increased in size a little bit. There's probably the odd one meter coming through there's a few surfers 
Um, nice clean conditions for surfing. So it's still pretty flat, but I think because the winds swung around, it was northwest. It swung around to the southwest, a little bit of swells coming from the south. Uh, but it, it's actually good that there's a bit of wash. So anyway, I'll chuck this guy out, see how long it takes to get a bite on this one. I'm just going to lob it off the end of that sandbar. Well, as close to that as I can anyway. Ah, uh, yep, that's pretty good. I like that. Now, last time I was walking back with my rod like this and I hooked up. But, we'll see how we go. Well, I haven't had a bite yet, so I'm going to leave that one set nicely and then go and get my plastic rod. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to go heavier. I like the look of here more than the other spot. That looks great. You'd have to expect that there would be fish on the edge of that sandbar out there. Okay, that cast was all right, but I wouldn't mind just getting a fraction further. Hang on, I can see fish in the water. I think they're bait fish. Yeah, I can see mullet just here in the water. Wow. That's good. Wow, there's heaps of mullet in the water. There's quite a large school of mullet just running along this edge, which is really good. You would think that there'd be something bigger out there. Most likely. They even followed my plastic in a little bit. On. Doesn't feel very big, but something's taken this plastic. What is it? <laughs> Mr. Flathead. Just a little sand flathead. I think he's a sand flathead. No, he's a dusky actually. So that's a dusky flathead that's taken that, flipping along the bottom. Not big enough to eat though. Look at those spikes. I think there's a bigger one out there with all those mullet there. Try again. There's a school of mullet along the edge here. It's super clear, but I'm going to cast parallel to the beach along that way and kind of pull my plastic through the area where the mullet are, just to see if there might be something in there. So I'm going to go on a bit of an angle like that. I mean, it looks so crystal clear, it's like an aquarium. You wouldn't necessarily expect to find something there. I upgraded to a, a much bigger plastic and a bigger jig head purely because I needed to get distance with my casting to get out on the edges of the sandbars. I just caught a flathead before on this plastic and I've been having a few casts into the white water on the edge of that sandbar, but I haven't had you know, there's, I'd, if there was anything there, I reckon they'd, they'd take it. So I'm going to head back up along the beach a little bit and try there. It just may, would make you think that later this afternoon when the light gets low with so much bait fish in here, you'd expect that there'd be mulloway and big fish, other big fish here. So yeah, it's exciting. I went for a bit of a wander up the beach having a few casts. I caught a small flathead on the soft plastic, so that's three species on soft plastic so far this morning. And I'm back at the original spot, but I think it may have even improved because the tides come in probably, you know, a fair bit over the last 45 minutes. 
So I'm going to have another quick go here and I've increased the size of my plastic and jig head. So I'm going to cast out a bit further and it'll be interesting to see if it's anything. I'm sure there'll be some fish there, but um, so I'll give it a go. I had a good hit just a second ago. Had it on for literally only two or three seconds, but... Let's see how we go. It's, um... The waves have picked up quite a bit from this morning. It really is very important. It's very important where you cast when you're beach fishing. You're really looking for those places where the fish are most likely to be feeding. So that's exactly what I'm doing all the time. I'm trying to get my plastic or my bait in those areas. And that's where I've had bites. Every time I cast in those spots, I get bites. So it's important to be strategic. Now I didn't quite get where I wanted to get then. The wind carried my line to the left a little bit. There's a little bit of sideways push from the wind. And my lure kind of sailed across, away from the sandbar into the deeper water. I've got one. Oh, I dropped it. Oh no, I got him so it had another go on the way. I got, got him, yeah. So, yeah, it, it certainly is it's paying off casting into that area. This light tackle is certainly awesome sport, awesome fun. And you can see that salmon's nailed that, uh, that plastic. So I've had a fair bit of soft plastic action this morning, um, which has been really enjoyable. If you guys would like me to do more videos on the beach using plastics, can you let me know in the comments? I'm quite, um, quite keen to do it. But um, yeah, I reckon could certainly have some fun. Especially on light tackle, could have some great fun. I love landing it on the sandbar and skipping it off. It sort of mimics something trying to escape. I've had some great fun this morning with the plastics. I've landed a few fish. I've kind of minored on the bait, bait fishing use. I've got a fish on my first cast with some worms, but 
been awesome using this light outfit and a couple of different plastics. So if you found that this video has been educational, if you've learned anything that's helped your fishing, make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, of course. I always say that. And um, I'll, I'll see you next week.